Okay, um, I have never played Abzu before. Uh, my wife has played it. She played it over at Olabruski's house and her friends. She said it was quite good. Didn't spoil anything for me in it. I hear it's from some of the people that help make Journey. It's like an underwater walking simulator, which is awesome. Journey was really great. Uh, we're playing it for two hours and 15 minutes today. The official how long to beat is something like two hours. So if we're really close to finishing it, I might just finish in Devit is Lua's sublock time. But let's check it out. I was really like Journey. Journey is gorgeous. It says like Subnautica without the constant terror. Yeah, I try to set the clock to whatever the how long to beat is plus one hour so it doesn't run over. When it runs over, it screws up the overlay. That's why you'll notice if I start going over time, I start pumping that number ahead. Yeah, right? I think Subnautica has trained me. It's nuts, Yukipo. I've had Nitro for a while. Uh, Serp let me know that a particular game he wanted to add was free. And I was like, okay, I'll go claim all the Nitro games. And there were tons of them. And a lot of them are like AAA, really, really good, fairly recently released titles too. I still don't know what Discord's revenue model is, but I'll enjoy it while it's here. I really like the art style of this game. Press to dive. Got it. I feel like the revenue model is don't have a revenue model. There's A to boost. that the indicator still says press to boost unless if it's supposed to be really slow also games you get from twitch prime i see yeah, i'm not clear on whether i am renting access to the games in that list or having claimed them i have them forever even if i deactivate uh discord nitro at some point I think I hold both right trigger and A to swim straight forward. Okay, that makes more sense. Hold to ride, got it. Goliath grouper. Abzu is like a Babylonian deity. I see, that makes more sense. Press to interact. Uh, it's very journey ish. Happy he is. It's like how they were getting emoting pieces of cloth. It's 
I'm gonna rescue a bunch of water rivets. That's cute. Thanks, Rubid. That was very helpful of you. Collecting rubbit options. It's a shark. Little happy eels following me around. Yeah, I wonder if Subnautica was, like, therapeutic for me. My thalassophobia. Cool. I like that your uh, flippers start to glow when you use the boost several times in a row. It's like doing the triple jump in Mario 64. Ocean games only. Whoa. Hey, Serp. Whoa. Pretty. It's a blob. Craft and Woodwaker. Only the water levels of games marathon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles water level. Would be hard enough if it didn't also have a time limit, right? Oh, what are these things? It's an Ammonite. Oh dear. Well, I hope there's not a whale in this game. I mean, even if it's a friendly whale. I don't know, I guess I ended up doing alright with the whales in uh, Subnautica. But the big blue whale in Echo the Dolphin still scares the crap out of me, even though it's totally a friend. Pretty. Okay. Maybe I should have the heart rate monitor on. He ate one of my robots. That's not cool. Cool alien gate thing. Good thing I had two robots. Still kind of pretty, yeah. Oh, well, the robot abandoned me. The robots are lives, shark lives. All right, pretty good conveyance there. Go ahead and turn right. Whoa. Cool. 
That's very journey-ish. This reminds me of Fantasia. She's on my side. Yeah, the music in this game is delightful. It's much more active than Journey. Jellyfish. had a long segment that taught us to look for red schools of fish, right? Maybe not. Well, they're still following me, so maybe. Hey, it's a robot. Option. I don't know if that's an industry term, but I'll always refer to little robot things that follow you around as options because of, uh, was it Gradius? It's really open was our hearts. I came in here, right? Probably don't want to go back down there. You open this little gate for me? Thanks, Rubit. It's a lot of fish shadows down there. Some kind of fat penguin looking fish. I feel like swimming through the red fish doesn't actually do anything other than give you something to, to do. <laughs> like, you can see where the game is telling you to go by watching the flow of all the fish. But I feel like if you miss the red fish, nothing bad would happen. It's just that it's not just a cutscene. I know I just skipped a uh, ammonite fossil. Nothing bad would happen, yeah. Doesn't feel like that kind of game. It's Burkas! They're friendly and not horrifying and violent at all. They look cute, so we've given them a pass, basically. Pretty. And what are they all swimming away from? This game's actually the lead in to Silent Hills. Ultra Hell Shark. <laughs> Responsibility. Right. That's cool. Yeah, just enjoying how pretty it was as the.
Hey, Robit, I thought I lost you. Glad you made the jump. take a blob of gunk out of my stomach and throw it in this blob. Makes sense. Help this tree thing grow? Give this game a try. Remember, always hold the right trigger. Are we going to get more hieroglyphics here? Big shark. Oh, that's cute. Oh, presumably those are the fossils that I've found so far. I see. That's cool. That looks like me. Totally some Babylonian water dude. Pretty new fish. There's a shark. Ate us all and we were very sad. Whoa. That's awesome. All right, this is where I need the heart rate monitor. There's this Q button to meditate. Do 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 do. Other more different do do. Thanks, Robot Buddy. Ancient pots. Big old chain. Cool lighting. This is my conveyance chain. I think it's my conveyance chain, yes. I guess not for terribly long. There are other chains in here, though. Chain veins. Oh, it's those super ugly sunfish. What's that, uh... The Boston Fisherman? I think it's a fucking whale, Mike. Or Jay, or... Alright, we're gonna go find a robot. Keep following the chains. There's a robot. Thanks, conveyance chain. Oh, he's all stuck. I'm here to help you. Baby 
shark do 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 do. You know, I almost didn't know about that, but I babysit Cameron, so I can't avoid it. I thought you were doing a Jaws thing. I wonder if there's the same number of do's in the Baby Shark song as there are in the Jaws theme. Yeah, I don't know if it's like two billion views catchy, but it's catchy. All right, all right. Thanks, conveyance chain. I try very hard when I'm babysitting Cameron to not put on the same video over and over and try to watch something different each time. Oh, I did get some value out of Frozen. It's my, uh, press in case of emergency button. is good. Yeah, I've got a small break at the moment um, because Preston Donovan's nephew is in town and he's staying with them, so he's just watching Cameron. But presumably that responsibility will continue once he heads back to Columbus. Even if he ends up moving here, he'll end up getting a job here. Good on the adoption application. I am already responsible for a two to three year old every morning for X months. She's not dead. Still watch my stream. Uh, yeah. Or put on a, was it Animal Crossing? Or not Animal Crossing. That's his delightful. Animal Farm. I feel like they've taught me something about sharks. I should probably chill a bit. Can I meditate on this thing? Turns out, the little robot following me is another player. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'd be like, uh, I believe that in real life, unlike in media, children don't have character shields and so need to be protected. Require parental vigilance, but uh, not in a way that permanently scars them psychologically. Secret of Nim's pretty, yeah, oof. Basically any kids' movies from the mid to late 80s, early 90s. Neverending Story, Dark Crystal, Labyrinth. Temporary psychological scars. I think that'd look good on an adoption application. I believe strongly that children are not inherently invincible. Pretty. Hey, thank you, Gami. Appreciate that.
I need to work on being even lower energy for the sub hype song, as exciting as it is. I feel like Red Letter Media have been having success lately with a low energy presentation, which makes me hopeful for the future of YouTube. Sup guys, Marsid here. I can't do that for longer than a millisecond without wanting to die. Alright. Oh, what's this all about? Oh. Interesting. Does anyone know for sure, is this game made by the same folks that made Journey? It's not that game company. But it feels very inspired by... like me. Absolutely is. It's uh, pretty good. You successfully drained joy from prop. Congratulations. Okay, well, I've been to three of these, right? I've been to the Manta Ray Temple, and the Whale Shark Temple, and the Orca Temple, but I haven't made it to the Kraken Temple. Everybody worships the shark. Do 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 do. Everyone's turning on you, Prop. How does it make you feel? We're quickly becoming a bad pun community. Don't even watch the games because they're fun anymore. You're just looking, hunting for pun opportunities. Worship shark. Do 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 do. <laughs> we love you. I think with age, you'll come to appreciate dad jokes, mom jokes. They require so much less effort than actually being funny. Puns are bad for intellectual growth. <laughs> Okay. It's all right. It's just a friendly whale. It's much smaller than an actual whale would be. Don't freak out. It's not going to hurt you. It's just horrifically large. Yeah, it's a challenge, sir. Whales freak me out so bad. All right, it's gonna be fine. It's pretty. There's so many of them, and they're making those noises. They just don't care. They just eat stuff, not on purpose. Oh god, those ones are bigger.
Looks very pretty. I like that. Good game. The music's very pretty too. They've given them like these serpentine shapes too. It could be a, not even notice, right? It would be an accident. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. I think I'm okay. This will freak me out pretty bad though. That seems bad. Maybe we don't want to get hit by the mines. Well, now I know. Oh, is it a bomb? Oh no, it's a statue to meditate on. Oh look, it's a whale skeleton. Always my secret dream. Music down here is pretty freaky deaky. Alright. Well, I've learned how this works. A whale. Whaley much. Woof. One. It wasn't very comfortable during the whale sequence. It was very pretty. I recognize that it was not meant to be horrifying, but I'm terrified of whales. I can logically recognize that it's pretty. Ow. Great. Andrea was staying at Puller Brewski's house because she had a her VOM 101 thing in Albuquerque and he had her play this game. She was telling me about some section where like you could make a mistake and get zapped uh, and that she, she at the first time she got zapped she realized there weren't any actual consequences so she made no effort to avoid them at all and Brewski was like what are you doing? Like every time you get zapped you get zapped and she's like yeah but it doesn't Significantly slow me down. Why would I put in effort if I don't have to? Fair enough. Aw. Poor shark. True scientist. Don't eat my robots anymore, please. Oh, he looks happy now. Aww. Hey, shark friend. So I just picks the name A, exactly. <laughs> You're right. It's a double whim. Happy shark do 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 do. Okay, it's all right. It's pretty. It's pretty. Go enjoy how pretty it is. Don't freak out or anything. Oh, 
Oh, you knew what you were doing, Yahan. Can't claim ignorance there. Ooh, squits. <laughs> That's why it is low. It's very, uh, this game is very gorgeous. I've definitely been prepped for it by Subnautica. I feel safe in this game, even if I'm unnerved, whereas I do not feel safe in Subnautica. All right, so this should be the Squid Shrine, which as far as I could tell is the final shrine, at least for the first part of the game. Hieroglyphics, only detailed four of them. I think you're still screwing with me, Johan, but <laughs> just when you typed Happy Shark, you were very explicitly and intentionally encouraging me to get the earbug to sing Happy Shark. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. He wouldn't dare. <laughs> Those guys are worrisomely big too. I'm just gonna run into Cthulhu, right? I think someone could make an actual uh, horror-themed game. Like, Subnautica is not a horror game, it just is horror-adjacent. It's scary because the ocean is scary. But it's not major theming. Wow, this is cool. I don't have a little robot. Well, a shark can swim in there. I guess that tells me I don't need a robot. Thanks, shark bud. Let's just swim straight into hell. That seems like a good idea. Bioshock was great. I guess I didn't feel the being underwater very much. Like, being in a facility is fine. I can pretend like I'm not underwater. It's the whole being out in open space where things can come from any direction. Oh, this place is cool. Very different from the rest of the game up to this point. Aren't you outraged at this level of technology and something that was so beautiful and natural before? Doesn't it just stand out like hell to you? Someone should make the, uh, the anti-Ludite game where whenever you're out in nature, it's horrifying, it's scary, and kind of ugly. And the technology is all very pretty and nice. Underwater Dark Souls. Yeah. I wonder if you could do underwater combat that works, though. I feel like Subnautica works because it at no point encourages you to engage in combat. I think it happened in the dunes, yeah, at night. I had to get out of there for other reasons than somebody told me that it's the most dangerous area of the game. 
Time zone change, six gun. This may have been the room Andrew was talking about. Oh no, this area is the worst because it has a bunch of angular man-made sculptures instead of pretty nature and junk and pollution floating everywhere. That's weird. I like the sound design in here. Well, I was doing pretty well at the start. Not so much at the end here. It wasn't on purpose. It's not easy to control the camera in this game. Oh yeah, that looks pretty evil. Hey Dave, don't you dare hurt my shark friend. Oh no, it's hurting my shark friend! I might teach the shark to not swim into giant red evil eyeballs though, which might help it to survive in the future if it didn't just die. Should be an achievement for touching all of them. <laughs> I think there's a separate time zone setting inside of Discord, but I'm not sure. Oh, cool. That's pretty awesome. We haven't seen the red heart before. It was in all of the hieroglyphics. Neat. So I'm a robot too. Oh no, shark buddy! Please be okay, shark buddy. Maybe you're a robot shark and it's fine. Aww. That's sad. We gotta go stop the tyranny of giant triangle. Triangle Hal. It's only defending itself. That's true. I'd probably zap it too. Tetrabad. I've never surfaced before. It's interesting that it lets us. 40 minutes into the game. Shark. Cool. Fresh new conveyance chains. 
hopefully eventually lead to a robot, maybe? Oh, that's cool. Sorry, Echo. I'm supposed to do a dolphin jump over that wall there. I'm gonna try other stuff first, I guess. Pretty. Fresh new change right out of the conveyance mines. Exactly. More skeletons. down here. I guess if I found one, I don't know what I'd use it for. There's a chain thing in here. Yeah, I can see it. So how do I open the initial gate itself is the question. They did just teach me that I could surface sometimes. That could be a thing that's up there. Oh, I see. There's a... So if you wanted to get all of the conches, you could. Exploring every single area. That's cool. Lightning seems to suggest I should go in that building. I can see if I can climb onto the top of it. There's also what might be this green conveyance goop on the surface. That's how I interpreted that when I first saw it, anyway. That's probably it. All right, hold on. Echo flashbacks. I could never get this to work the way I wanted it to in Echo. I gotta get more. It's gonna be on the cusp of my Mario 64 triple jump. Although this doesn't seem like the kind of precision this game requests of the player. So maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> this game seems to be quite a bit more chill than that. Yeah, this, this, this looks like this makes more sense. Just swim right up and walk on there. I bet that's possible, though. Just opens the gates below, perhaps. does. And then I can access the chain thing and I can get through the opposite door.
that's one side of the door. I gotta get the other one now. That's pretty. Oh, looks like the other one's trivially accessible. I like how they forced me to surface back then so I could start to consider that as a puzzle solution. It's just a fish. Okay, I thought there was like a giant thing in here. It's freaking out a little bit. Well, this makes sense. Okay, it's a turtle. fish. It's only a fish. Cool. Uh, there's an area that has that in Subnautica as well. things. Like dinosaurs. Freaky deaky. Alright. Activate all of these things if we can to open that door, presumably. Acidic brine. <laughs> there are the dinosaurs. Looks like they ran out of room drawing them on the wall, so they had to, like, loop their head down. It's like St. God's Hospital and Idiocracy. I'll let you guys know when Lisa and Matt play Subnautica. Lisa said they would do it. Super salty underwater lake in an episode of Aquanauts. Of course not. I feel like it's possible you can have liquids that are heavier than water. They would probably naturally settle into dips in the ocean floor. I guess I haven't really seen like any nature videos about underwater lakes of a different material. Yeah. SpongeBob did it. effect here. It's on the other side.
game is gorgeous. Super sad for Shark Bro, though. It's like a door or something? Oh, bummer. Probably an achievement for hitting all the fish schools. Toxic and very toxic, huh? So you probably wouldn't have life. Lots of extreme files that live in extremely hostile conditions to humans. I guess living in a salty ocean is something that humans really couldn't do either. No, Nautilus is not alive. Snake people statues. This is a cool looking room. A giant swarming ball of fish doesn't scare the shit out of me, but a whale does. You feel like the swarming ball of fish should be way scarier. I guess swarms in general kind of freak me out, but that one's fine for some reason. Who knows? A swarming ball of whales. <laughs> I'm sure that'd be much better. Oh, there's more of these. Interesting. It's the nexus point of all four. The four classical elements of orca, whale shark, squid and manta ray. I hear that if you specialize in manta ray slash whale shark, that you can become a paladin. Swarming wall of bees. Oh, he, Shark Bro gets a live on as a ghost fella. I figured that wasn't the end of the story for Shark Bro. Do you want to be the new, like, totemic representation? Do you want to be the fifth element? You represent love? Hey, and I got all healed too. Dope. Send him on to Fishy Underworld. 
heaven, we'll say. Come on, Bruce Willis, didn't you watch Captain Planet? That whole thing should have been obvious that the fifth element was love. Ha! Screw you, death pyramids. I've got ghost shark powers. I've been imbued with the elements of whale shark, manta ray, orca, and squid, bitch. I collected all of the doodads and got all the rocks. Trying cows. It's pretty good. I like the pallet shifts in this game. Screw you, technology. I'm the common video game trope of nature. Isn't this a beautiful game? You don't see any of these fish just sitting around on their phones. Although it's funny because I think I'm technically a robot or something. The main character. Fuck you, technology. Great. Like I said, someday someone's gonna make a video game where nature's the bad guy. I'd play that a lot. I think there's an a fun argument you can make for it. Yeah, right, you could bow. I think you can do a good nature villain, just like you can do a good, uh, like, light villain, holy villain. We're going to dolphin zap this last evil triangle. Aww. Yay, Ghost Shark is back. This game is pretty beautiful. You shouldn't feel bad. The power of squid! Oh, they're saying Abzu in the chanting. Do you notice that I summoned one of each of the four totemic elements of underwater shit when I blew up each of those evil triangles? It's the boss triangle. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. Pretend like they're not there. Hey, Hal, you zapped my friend before. Dude, I'd play it, Game Saucer. I think you could cast nature as being evil in like a... Nature's all about like survival at all costs. And you have to like rise above that. This is pretty awesome. This is a really cool sequence the way that area was the first time we went there. Eat it, Hal. Poor Hal. You always said 
He just didn't want a shark to swim into his eye. Is that so wrong? Yeah, a hostile alien planted his evil nature. He's growing all this shit all over him. This annihilation is kind of nature horror. It has been. And yet our pop culture is very pro-nature. Oh, I can still control them on the screen here? That's cool. Is Lua, you're living the dream right now. You've got a good sub-block bank that's typically larger than the number of hours that are actually needed to beat games. So you get to carry over the hours each time when you pick a short, beatable in one session title. Keep this up, this is great. This game was gorgeous. Soundtrack's amazing, the art's amazing, the level design was really cool. I really hope that folks keep making these gorgeous walking simulators. I did like the mole, you know, introducing the antagonist in an area that's kind of frustrating to get through and just coming through and wrecking it with your totemic fish god powers. I did a little bit of walking. I'm swimming, just walking underwater. Ooh, there's an extra... Don't get the thing! Alright, got the thing successfully. Hey, riding the shark buddy. You're like, I bet that shark is a bad guy because he ate my rubit. Then you find out that the shark is a friend. And it's shapes that are evil. Oh no, there's a whale. I lost my character. I'm still out there somewhere, I can still press the X button. I'm way in the background. Shouldn't have rid the shark. have a lot of uh, nicknames there. Where'd I go? I think I'm way in the background.
Press menu button to exit. Meditate. Oh, that's cool. It's basically just like a screensaver. Oh, that's awesome. So you want to find all the meditation locations to get close-ups on all the fish that are out here. That's pretty sweet. It kept saying to press the view button to meditate, and I was like, I don't know what the view button is, sorry. That's cool that it lets you save those and do it from the menu. Awesome. Oh, they give you a lot of control over it. Awesome. Thanks, Azlo, for sharing this game. Now I get to talk to Andrea about it, because she came home and was excited to talk to me, and I'm like, you can't tell me anything, because I might play this on stream eventually. Lo and behold, two weeks later, it's on Subblock. Game